good, John. No mercy. Trapped New York shit. No mercy TV dot com. I seen an interesting tweet from Debo today. It's basically saying that 2020 will be the year to rematches, being that it's not more, it's not much more major battles left. There's not much talent elevating and things of that nature. Listen, man, I agree. I agree 100%. Now, he's not the only one saying this. People been saying this for the longest, you know? URL is at the point where talent is at a bottleneck. These guys are not elevating whatever it is. However, maybe the process is going or just however things are going at that PG level, these guys are not elevating, you know? Fans are not buying into them. They don't care to see these guys. When their battles drop on YouTube and on the app, there's a lot of crazy comments. Y'all have to make... Y'all have to find other ways to get the fans interested. You know? That's really just what it boils down to. Because it's like, so many battle rappers, so many battles going on. How do fans buy into new talent? Now... It's a lot of factors that go into this. It's a lot of them. You know, um, star power. A lot of these guys don't have star power. A lot of these guys don't know how to promote. They just don't know how to maneuver in battle rap, period. Like, let's just keep it a buck. A lot of these guys, they don't know how to choose what battles to do. They don't know when... It's time to call certain people out. You know, I like what Swamp did when he battled Don Marino. He used his third round to call out people that's in his weight class. That's how you're supposed to do it, especially when you're having a good showing. You don't just get out the PGs and maybe you're headlining like a Survivor Series and then you say, I need Mook, I need Lux. Like, it don't go like that. It's a process to all this. And you have to build yourself to a certain point to where these battles make sense. You know, a lot of the newer guys, a lot of y'all don't even have more than a thousand followers on Twitter. That says a lot. Like, it's not that numbers mean everything, but you have to build a substantial following before you can start calling certain people out. Numbers got to re- be right all across the board. You got to have good performances. You got to sell a, a certain amount of tickets, which, you know, there's no way to gauge how many tickets certain people were selling. So that that's not really a major factor. You have to be doing trailers and controversial blogs. Um, Your social media game got to be on point. You got to have a decent amount of followers. You got to get a certain number of mentions. It's a whole science to it. And the ones that go the furthest are the people that can take advantage of the science, you know? People like Ace Amin. Ace Amin, he's very active on social media. He is active within the community as far as just, you know, battling. You know, it's a lot of different things. He does interviews, all kinds of things. Like, these are the things you have to do to get somewhere. You know, you have to climb the ranks slowly. You know, you climb up one rank, you dominate everything there, you climb to the next, you do continue the process. You know, and that's how you elevate in battle rap. But a lot of niggas are not doing that. You know, a lot of niggas get one PG, feel like they on top of the world, and they, they attitude change, they demeanor change, and just... They, they overall, just sometimes who they are even changes. You know, and it's like you're not at a point yet to where you should be making these drastic changes. I mean, it's not like niggas is making a crazy amount of money. So it's like you letting views change who you are and then it's, you know, just, just a whole bunch of mess. And it, it the, 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 the way people conduct themselves after a while is just like, 
just crazy, man. It's just crazy. You know, this is why URL is going so hard promoting rematches right now. I peaked today. Kayshawn jumped on Twitter. He don't use Twitter like that. But he jumped on Twitter and started going for a whole bunch of rematches. He didn't call out not none of the new names. He went straight for everybody that he battled already. He went at Calico. He went at uh, John John. Like, he's going at people that he already done went at it with. So you can tell the excitement is not there for niggas to battle these new niggas. Now, uh, new guys could call it ducking if you want. But what I got to understand is this. New guys. Y'all are in rooms where y'all are battling in front of one or two hundred people. Y'all don't have the reach that these other guys have. So battling you does nothing for them. Battling, a, 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 like, a, if somebody approached T-Top or Briz or Chess or John John or Chilla Jones or Rum Nitty saying, yo... I got a new guy here for you. Half the time, y'all ain't even know these niggas' radar. Y'all haven't made no noise. Y'all haven't made no impact on social media. Like, this is why y'all not getting the battles that y'all feel y'all deserve. You know, y'all are doing y'all thing in front of the, the one or 200 people that's, you know, in tune with what y'all doing, which might be part of the, 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 the fan base or the support that y'all got from running through the small leagues. But beyond that, y'all don't reach the main battle rap masses. And this is why these guys don't feel like battling y'all is worth it. You understand? People like Swamp and Ace, um, they're starting to reach those people. That's why you see T-Top going back and forth with Swamp. That's why you see a lot of these guys going back and forth with Ace. But the rest of y'all... Y'all niggas is chopped liver, man. You understand? Y'all niggas still got a lot more work to do. And y'all got to stop with this feeling entitled shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, me, as No Mercy, a person who done put in a lot, a lot, of, a lot of work in, in different places, I'm humble as hell. You understand? Like, no matter how much work I put in, I know that to get into certain places, I got to work still. I got to work still. Your name only go but so far. And y'all niggas have to understand that. You understand me? Like, y'all got to realize that, like, like me, you know how much content I got on YouTube? Let, let's say across YouTube, I got maybe a thousand videos up. Yeah, to some people, that's a lot of work. But I still have to get better. I still have to get better, and I still have to continue to work. Why? Because if I'm not quote unquote on yet, then there's still certain things that I'm not doing that's not getting me to where I need to be. And that's the same for you new niggas. Y'all niggas is not understanding that. Y'all niggas get a couple of battles. Y'all y'all get a couple of crowd reactions and all that. Y'all leave the event feeling like y'all the shit. Y'all might take home a, a, a battle rap groupie and smash. And y'all feeling like y'all on top of the world. And then two days later, y'all on Twitter trying to challenge Loaded Lux to a battle. Talking about Loaded Lux is ducking you. No. It's not how this game works. Y'all niggas better come back down to earth like ASAP. 2020 is literally about to be nothing but rematches. Y'all see it happening in front of your eyes. Like, forget what everybody's saying. Y'all are at these events. Y'all are at these... These URL small room events, Smack is literally filming face-offs for rematches now. Right in front of y'all faces. Forget what we're talking about. The system that y'all want to be a part of so bad, that y'all want to push y'all so bad, is focusing on pushing for battles that they've done already. That says a lot in itself, man. That says a lot in itself. Y'all better tighten up, man. Y'all better tighten up. Like, stop feeding into just these bloggers that praise y'all 
and don't keep it real with y'all because they don't want to ruin relationships. Stop feeding into the fans who adjust aboard y'all little hype trains. I might want to listen to the niggas like me and Caps. We're going to keep it real with y'all and tell y'all what is really going on. A lot of y'all don't got that it factor, man. A lot of y'all don't got that it factor, and a lot of y'all got a lot more work to do before y'all can play with the big boys. And until y'all realize it, y'all are going to be stuck where y'all at, and URL is going to keep pushing for these rematches <laughs> in 2020. I'm going to be watching K-Shine and Sue Surf battle again. After I've seen them live already in Summer Madness 1. You think I'm buying another ticket to go see that shit? Oh, but I'm definitely going to watch it on pay-per-view. You know what? I just might go see it. Why? Because I support URL and shit. If they ain't got nothing better to offer than the Sue Surfers K-Shine rematch, then guess what? I'm stuck with what I'm stuck with. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like, come on, man. And y'all new niggas, y'all get so mad at, at the bloggers and the people that talk about it. Talk to the people that y'all working for. Talk to the people that y'all battling for. Ask them, yo, why y'all pushing for rematches instead of pushing me? That's what y'all need to be doing. Let's start those conversations and let's see what happens. That's all I got to say, man. No mercy, trap New York shit, no mercy, Steve.com.